What's going on guys, Matt Belair here. And in this short video, I just wanna share with you the concept of greasing the groove. I heard this from Pavel Tsatsoulin and it is an amazing, amazing technique I tell everybody to do if they are working a job and they wanna get in shape. It's a way to stay healthy, to stay consistent, to stay strong. Um, and it's so simple and so friggin effective. This is such an amazing way to stay in shape if you have a job, if you're working 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week, or something like that. Okay, so here it is. The idea is to do little bits each day of quality exercises. The king of all exercises may be the kettlebell swing. There's a fantastic book uh, by Pavel Tatsulin again. Um, I'll make sure I link him in this video so you can check it out. Uh, about why the science about why the kettlebell is so amazing. Olympic athletes use it. Every sport uses the kettlebell. So learn how to swing that thing. Do yourself a favor. Get a kettlebell. Learn how to swing it. So kettlebell. Also pull-ups are phenomenal. Um, if you can't do a pull-up yet, you can do this with push-ups or sit-ups or something simple. So here it is. The idea is just to do sets throughout the day. So I'm going to flip the camera here. No, I just took a photo. It's Okay, I flipped the camera. I'm gonna have to do this in multiple videos. I just tried to do it in one. Uh, and here you go. So this is Monday. I did 23 pull-ups and 40 kettlebell swings. Then 56 and 110, 67, 100, 82, 100, 90 and 100. That was 318 pull-ups and 450 kettlebell swings. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Usually I go to the gym on Friday and Saturday. Um, so that times four, is 1,272 pull-ups that my body will adapt to in a month and 1,800 kettlebell swings. So that is quite a bit. That is a ton of swings. And the idea with those pull-ups, uh, just do them in sets of like three or four. That's what I do with. The idea is to not burn yourself out. So if you can only do one pull-up, just every time, you, like if there's a, somewhere you can put a pull-up bar, just do one as you go throughout the doorway, uh, through the doorway throughout the day. So you just do one and one and one, and maybe you do 10 that day, right? And the next day you do 10. Um, and then next week you can do two or three, right? So only do one and stop when you get tired. Um, then you do one and then you do two. So all of a sudden you're doing 30 a day. Um, and then in a month, right? Let's say you could do seven pull-ups maximum. You can only do seven maximum pull-ups. You do sets of three. You do uh, 10 sets of three and two and maybe a, a couple bonus sets. Now all of a sudden you're getting into 40 and 50 pull-ups a day. And so for here, you know, I don't max it out. I only do three or four. Sometimes I'll give it a break and then I'll try to get to seven. But the second I get tired, I stop. And that's the key is to let your body recover. Now for the kettlebell swings in his book, one of the suggestions he has is get a uh, kettlebell and do 10 sets of 10 swings as heavy as you can. So once the weight gets uh, easy to do sets of 10, um, up the weight. And so right now I think I'm up to uh, a 70, yeah, I'm a 70 pound, 28 kilogram kettlebell. But when I started, I started with a 45 pounds and I remember swinging at one arm, and this was a few years ago, I was like, this is so ridiculously heavy. And I remember like, I'm gonna try a snatch with this thing. And I tried to snatch with it, and I was like, wow, like this is so heavy. Now I can do that with ease, but this has been years over time. And so if I don't have enough time to go to the gym, uh, then I apply this concept. It's a fantastic way to stay strong and in shape, and you can do it with stretching. You can do it with anything. So the idea is small increments, not just blow yourself out. So, Get a pull-up bar, it's amazing. Put it in a doorway, just do a couple when you go through. If you can do a maximum of five, do one or two. Then do one or two again in 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. If you work in an office, get yourself a kettlebell, man. Get it, and just do 10 sets of 10 throughout the day. That's it. It won't make you sweaty, you won't do anything. If you don't know how to swing a kettlebell, make sure you get a trainer to teach you how. But if you do that, you will experience such strength. Your body will tra transform. And it is such an amazing hack to getting in shape and getting strong. So grease the groove. Just do a little bit throughout the day, throughout the work day. This is just such gold knowledge for anybody who's working 40 hours a week. You can put a kettlebell there. Make sure you know how to swing it. Um, and that's it. So if you have any questions, post it in the video below or in the comments below anyway. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Peace.